hello. I've been, I've been sitting here waiting for my heat to turn off and it doesn't seem like it's going to anytime soon. So <laughs> I'm sorry if you can hear that. Hopefully it's not too annoying. Um, I'm sat here today with nothing on my face. A little bit horrifying after all the Christmas and uh, playing in my dirty drawer. I have lots of red spots, but the camera always makes your skin look a little bit better than it does in real life anyway. Hopefully, that's what I'm telling myself. So we're playing with Victoria Beckham today, and I wish I had more of her stuff. It's just with the US dollar and the exchange rate, it's probably not gonna happen for a little while. Um, but I do have, as you've seen last week, her Bitten Lip Tint in Bizu. And I'll give you my thoughts on this in a little bit. What I first wanna try that I got with my lip tint is a sample of Cell Rejuvenating Priming Moisturizer, all in one kind of thing. Now, I didn't buy her things from Estee Lauder when she launched them because I have tried, was it Estee Lauder? No, it was, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, because my skin will break out from any type of dimethicone or anything. It's kind of why I started my journey to clean beauty that's led me here is my skin physically rejects that kind of stuff. So I will say her ingredients are not perfect, but she does talk about being better in the future and continuing to uh, try to be more sustainable and everything. So I love that there's an awareness of that and that she can always do better and the packaging makes you feel kind of luxurious and special. And I, even the small eyeshadows look like they'd be perfect for travel, which I never thought would be something that I would personally care about <laughs> until I have been on more flights in the past year and a half than ever before in my life. So that is becoming a priority for me. So what does it say on this? It says Victoria's Secret to Glowing Skin Cell Rejuvenating Priming Moisturizer is a skincare powered primer developed in partnership with Augustinus Bader and his proprietary TFC technology. Is this interesting to anyone? It is a lightweight moisturizer that improves the health of your skin, combats long-term signs of aging, and gives you an instant glow, all whilst priming your skin for whatever comes next. Well, thank you, Victoria and Augustinus Bader. So like I said, I just have a little sample because, ooh, it's, uh, it's expensive. <laughs> Part of me is like biased, like I hope I don't like it too much because I don't, it's not affordable. It's like you'd have to make yourself afford it, you know, it's, yeah. And skincare is an investment, I understand, but dang. So <laughs> this is the before, as you can see, and we're gonna just give her, I guess. <laughs> Come here, a little magic potion. So I don't really know how much you're supposed to use, so I'm taking like that much. Oh my god, I already got it in my hair. Well, maybe my hair will be more beautiful now. <laughs> And this is the after, and I hope I forwarded through some of my ridiculous faces while I'm putting things on. Um, do we notice a difference? Hmm. 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 Well, you know. It feels really nice and not silicone-y, so that makes me happy. It's like smooth but not slick, so that was really good. It feels very, I have sensitive skin, and it feels very gentle, so I like that a lot. Um, we can go over some of the ingredients if you want. I just, out of the corner of my eye, can see sodium benzoate in there, which I try and avoid in my food products, so why would I put it on my face? But um, yeah, it feels nice. There's no smell to it, really. It was easy to put on. It doesn't leave you feeling greasy or tacky, which I was kind of worried about. I used it even under my eyes. I don't know if you're supposed to do that. It feels fine. Um, yeah, I guess it's a little glowier and it feels very moisturized as a moisturizing primer should do. And it actually feels kind of primed too, like almost like the Hourglass primer. That one's a bit more gritty because I think it has the SPF in it, but it almost, like it's like that. It's like light, but there's something there. Um, when Victoria wears this, it always looks like a tinted moisturizer to me my skin is apparently not at the same level as hers but I also don't go to the spa multiple times a month so you know cut our losses it's nice it is nice if someone like gifted me this I would I'd be stoked on it and I would go to bed looking glowy and goddessy 
Um, I don't know if my husband would care if I looked like this going to bed, but it's more for yourself anyway. All right, let's get into the tint. Um, so this is a product I've already been playing with. This is not a first time review. And I will say some things that I've learned because originally I hated it. Hate is a strong word. Hate is a strong word. I did not like it very much. So, see, it, see on here, it has a very nice doe foot. It's quite thin, it's quite precise, it's quite nice. So I take the excess off because you can easily overdo it. And I'm just gonna go in. Oh, still too much, almost. <laughs> And we'll go like that. So they do make it quite easy to be precise. It's very well thought out for that. The little point on here makes it super easy. If you've ever used, ooh, lip ink if you ever use lip ink it really reminds me of that where you have to go slowly one layer at a time before you add more if you want to add more actually i think that just that little bit because i have like no pigment in my lips at all and i have like the heavy brow and the dark hair and when i'm wearing mascara i've got the lashes oh my gosh i didn't even put on mascara today what's happening <laughs> um so i kind of need something on my lips so i don't look washed out i look like this Part of my face is just gone because I don't have any lipstick on so I do like it for that and the thin layer I enjoy I did put too much on when I first used this my lisp is coming back and I felt it on the lips like it's almost gel it's like a gel consistency and I felt it and when you're wearing a tint you don't really want to feel anything like I'm used to thick red lipsticks I I get it but it's a tint I don't want to know it's there I want to forget about it I will also say I didn't notice it lasting like an exorbitant amount of time. I don't think that's the biggest deal because it's not very hard to reapply. And I like to layer this with a lip balm and then it's like gone. <laughs> so it needs that dryness. It does have some alcohol in it as well as hydro hydrolonic acid. You know that good one that brings all the moisture in? Apparently it's got that in there. I don't have the full ingredient list right in front of me for it. Um, actually, you can see it on my face, but we'll swatch it too as we can see it's like it's so pretty so it's definitely it reminds me of the 90s which Victoria Beckham was so chic in as well it's kind of got some brown and purple you know she's kind of a taupey person it feels like that it's not a rosy red lip I'm wondering how even that's gonna look this is as even as I can get it so and, I, <laughs> and a problem that I always have with lip tints is my lips, when they're dry, they peel in the center, and that tends to take on more pigment, so you can very easily look like you've been sipping a bit too much wine <laughs> or sucking a lollipop. I think this is definitely like a Merlot color, though. Uh, she did also say that you could use it on your cheeks and on your eyelids. I'd be kind of nervous about eyelids because of red tints, and I mean, these could be natural red tints. Maybe they're safe. I haven't had much luck with the tint. Do we want to try it on the cheeks? Oh God, okay, okay. <laughs> I will do that before we go. I just wanted to give my final thoughts. So if you're interested, you have the funds. Maybe you're in, you're in the US, so you don't also have to worry about the exchange rate and everything. I, You know, this is just a first impression and it's without makeup on it, but I would just kind of want to use this as my moisturizer. <laughs> and I'm really liking the Fit Glow Cloud Moisturizer right now. I still, I think that one like plumps a little more, maybe. But this, it feels really good. It feels really good. And the lip stain, if that's something you could see yourself using. I don't really see this as a nude lip. If I'm gonna do nude, I like a beigey bardot. Like a almost brown outline, very soft brown outline to keep the definition there. Um, but yeah, this is almost like, this is what I've noticed myself throwing on before I go to the grocery store so that I feel a little more put together and that my face is a little more balanced um, before I get out of here. So I'm really enjoying it for that. Can you tell that I'm stalling putting it on my cheeks? I don't know if I should like rub it right on my cheeks or on my finger and then put it on my cheek. Actually, it rubbed in on my hand pretty good. So we're gonna do one side like this and then just quickly. Did that do anything at all? 
Maybe if I pat. Did that do anything? <laughs> I'm not seeing anything. Um, I mean, I guess. And then we'll do one side where we just take it on my fingers and do that, I guess. It really looks like blood. Which is a beautiful color. I mean, it's like flushed lips, right? Flushed lip. Flesh, fresh. <laughs> flushed cheeks. <laughs> I don't see myself reaching for it for that. But I like it for what it is. Is there a mild scent? It doesn't really smell like anything. Maybe very faintly vanilla. And yeah, I think it's a fairly universally flattering color because you can build it up too. So you can do one layer like this. I mean, if you're pale, this might be a bit much on you. I don't know what your comfort level is. Um, and if you have medium to deep skin, you could add a few layers or even, I think one layer of this, like just looks kissed, right? It's very, very nice. Well, that's my thoughts on all I could get my hands on for right now. I am super wanting to try the blonde uh, lid luster. Ooh, and a couple of the eye bricks. I think, honestly, I'm going to, when I run out of some neutrals, I'm going to replace it with the signature eye brick and then just have that one and keep it in my purse because it makes you feel kind of special. As I said, it's kind of fun. Um, what else do I want from her? The Bordeaux liner for your eyes. So let me know down below if you're interested in this line, if you're over it, if you're a Spice fan, if you're not, <laughs> and what you have either picked up or might want to be picking up. Um, I would love to hear some reviews from you from anyone in the community uh, before I spend my hard-earned Canadian dollars <laughs> on U.S. beauty products. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you keep smiling out there and let's just forget this ever happened, okay? Got you. Bye. <laughs>